I would like to share some uh, very good, uh, important news to the Holland brothers and sisters. Wat belangrijk nieuws gedeeld met uh, onze Nederlandse broeders en zusters. Because there's not much else I can bring to offer your great country, since your country is already very, very great, very prosperous, and very intelligent in many ways. Want er is niet veel meer dat ik jullie groot land kan brengen, want jullie land is al heel uh, bevoordeeld in veel, uh, op vele manieren. So since I'm invited here, I think the only thing that maybe I could offer is the thing that I, I know of, the thing that I have, that is a spiritual uh, knowledge. And since that I'm here outgenodigd ben, can I enkel aanbieden wat ik heb en dat is spiritueel kennis. There are two ways that we can live our life in this world. And you all know that. Er zijn twee manieren waarop we ons leven kunnen leven in deze wereld. En jullie weten dat allemaal. Can you hear clearly? His beautiful voice is, is it? Can you hear? Can you speak in the microphone? Don't look at me, don't smile at me. <laughs> speak right here. <laughs> all right, I think I take the microphone in my hand so I don't miss it. Dus ik denk dat ik de microfoon in mijn handen neem. Yes. <laughs> There are two ways to live in this world. There's one way is the normal way that we accept everything that happens to us as a destiny. Er zijn twee manieren om ons ons leven in deze wereld te leven. Eén manier is alles te accepteren als um, destiny. Can you hear now, yeah? It's okay? No good? Yes or no? Please take care that you speak louder. Can you take the microphone and stand up straight, <laughs> please? <laughs> Because uh, I, I can hear you, it just I cannot. Yeah. All right, that's it. Now you look like a movie star. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> But when you stand straight, it's yeah, better yeah, it's... for you, yes. And there's another way that we know God's grace and we can live a much happier, a much smoother and more peaceful life. And there's another manner for waardoor we Gods blessing kunnen kennen en ons leven op een meer gemakkelijke manier kunnen leven. Oké? Okay. Ah, they like you now. Ja, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most of the people in the world, we choose to live the first way of life because we do not know the second way. De meeste mensen in deze wereld willen de eerste manier kiezen omdat ze de tweede manier niet kennen. Uh, we would like to know the second way, but uh, it is most of the time hidden from us, even though it is very, very simple, as if taking something out of your pocket. We just don't know how. So we live a mostly unfulfilled, uh, most of the time very frustrated, um, unhappy lives. We zouden graag de tweede manier leren kennen, maar we weten niet hoe. En het is eigenlijk als iets, iets uit onze binnenzak nemen. Het, ja. Once we know the grace of God, life begins to change. Life begins to be the way it should be. Life begins to be like heaven. Wanneer we God leren kennen, dan begint ons leven pas. Ons leven wordt als uh, de hemel. Translate, okay? Yeah. No? Yes? You translate better, you come up. Oh, <laughs> you better make it better. <laughs> right, I'm sorry, okay. 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 All right, go ahead. Okay, yes. You better be good. <laughs> I'll try. All right. <laughs> it's, it's easier down there, but when you stand up here, he's a little nervous, that's why. Okay, okay, we begin anew, all right? So, today we will talk about the second way of living, which will bring us happiness, which will bring us heaven, which will bring us peace inside and outside. Vandaag proberen we te leven op de tweede manier, dat wil zeggen door vrede en geluk van onszelf. Oké. Okay. I like that. <laughs> the way to contact with the grace of God, people call that the way of enlightenment, the way of Jesus, the way of Buddha, the way of Mohammed, peace be upon him, the way of those great masters in the ancient times and in the present and in the future. Zoals in het verleden, zoals in het heden en in de toekomst zullen er meesters zijn die de weg zullen aanwijzen, meesters om te leven. 
die de manier kunnen leren aan ons allen. I'm not trying to say the way of religions, because religions has two, two essence. One is the theory that we read the Bible, we become pious, we keep the commandments of God, and we fast, or we be a good person, we help one another. That is one way. And there's another way, the spiritual way is much, much deeper. Dat is een eerste manier. Laten we zeggen, de manier zoals die on, ons aangereikt wordt. Maar de tweede manier, waar het eigenlijk om gaat, die is dieper. Een spirituele manier. The spiritual way is the way we can contact directly to God and tell Him. Um. Everything that we want to tell and has will tell us how we are going to solve the problems or has going to bless us so that our lives will become exactly the way we want to live. The tweede manier is een rechtstreeks contact met God. Hij zal ons laten zien en wijzen op welke manier we in contact met hem kunnen treden. He's still good? Okay. <laughs> Stay there. Because in the Bibles or in many of the spiritual uh, religious scriptures, they don't mention how to contact God. They just mention that uh, in the ancient times, like St. John or whomever had contacted God, or Moses had, had seen God, and then uh, he got blessed, and then he had has wisdom, etc., etc. But the Bible or the scriptures do not tell us how. To get the wisdom the way Moses did. Ook al beschrijft de Bijbel de manier waarop Mozes en andere Sint, Sint Johannes bijvoorbeeld, discipelen als het ware ontmoeting met God hadden en hun geloof aan ons vertellen, is het toch niet duidelijk zoals u en ik, wij allen hier rechtstreeks in contact met God kunnen komen. Jesus had meditated in the desert for 40 days, similar with Mohammed. Peace be upon him. And similar with the Buddha, etc., etc., there are endless of masters since ancient times. I, I cannot mention them all, but they all had to go through a process of contemplating for a long time and every day in life in order to contact this God, contact God inside, inside of us. And so if we want to... Oh, sorry, okay, go ahead. No, no. and <laughs> meditation is the way to get to God. To treat. En uh, hoe zal ze verder vertellen? Is that it? So short? Is it okay? You, you stand by and you remind him when he forgets something. <laughs> this Belangrijk is, is vertrouwen. This is fun. Normally, you, uh, a, a real translator, they note down the main points. Meestal, letterlijk wordt alles vertaald. While well, listening, and then they translate from that. It's huh? safer. You want it? Not so right. I try to find it. Can you note a little bit? And Yes. Okay. It reminds me of Japanese joke. It's a little bit out of... A uh, it's a little bit out of, uh, out of the theme, but you want to hear? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, <laughs> just to brighten it up because we are in spring and flowers everywhere. <laughs> okay. There was a Chinese tour guide. He took a bunch of Japanese tourists uh, to go around Amsterdam and look in everywhere. And then uh, they went into a comedy club. Een Japaner nam een, een aantal Chinezen mee naar een, uh, hier in Amsterdam ergens op stap. En ze gingen naar een, uh, een comedy club. And then the comedian was standing on the stage and talk, blah blah blah, blah and make a lot, a lot of, a lot of a gesture, a vert- lot, a lot of things, and everybody laughed. All the Hollanders laughed, 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 laughed. And then all the Japanese two group keep waiting for the guy to translate. <laughs> and the man, <laughs> hij zat te wachten op degene die het moest yes. vertalen, de Japaner. And after the comedian had finished and everybody laughed already, they said, what, what, what was it? Wat was het nou? <clears throat> And then the guy told them, the comedian had just told a great joke, so now please clap your hand and laugh. Hij had net de mop verteld, dus please clap in je handen en lach ook alsjeblieft. They suddenly all the Japanese laugh and, and the, the comedian say, why I talk so long and you talk only one sentence and they laugh. Ik praat zo lang en voor hem alleen maar één zinnetje. 
Yeah, toch yeah. lacht hij. Yes, yes. I think he's trying to do the same job. <laughs> Oké. Okay. Please try. <laughs> Oké. Okay. Now in the ancient times, uh, the communication system was not very efficient. The transportation system was almost non-existent. So to find someone who could show us the way to achieve the grace of God or the way to return to our kingdom of God within ourselves was almost impossible. In, in, in oude, vroeger waren uh, de middelen tot communicatie en de middelen tot, tra tot transport waren gebrekkig. En vandaar dat uh, de bezinning tot communicatie met het hoge toch mogelijk is. En dat is waarom most of de uh, scriptures of de religion mention about these spiritual subjects in a very precious way, in a very mysterious way, in a very kind of very hard to find subject and very hard to, to, to achieve. And they don't even write out the method for us. Het is niet altijd duidelijk. Het wordt niet altijd gebracht op een wijze zoals wij dat wensen. Bijvoorbeeld door een brief of op een andere wijze tot communicatie. Het is moeilijk te begrijpen soms. But nowadays, because of all the convenience of scientific discovery, we can share with each other anything that we know in a matter of hours or minutes or any time that we can see each other, any time we want to see each other or to want to see someone who knows the way, we can always fly over there or go by its car, by bus. It's, it's just a matter of... of few hours or few days then we can know whatever we want to know about spiritual practice. Op, op, nu in deze wereld kunnen we met elkaar communiceren zoals wij dat wensen op elk tijdstip en op elk uur op elke dag. Binnen enkele minuten kan een gesprek mogelijk zijn met al onze moderne communicatiemiddelen. And even if we could not see the person who knows it, uh, we can also see the person who is delegated from this a uh, so-called uh, spiritual guide, a spiritual friend, and we waste no time, we can always learn anywhere in the world. We kunnen overal van, van een spirituele figuur leren. Elk moment, als hij wat te vertellen heeft. And this is very lucky for us. We zijn gelukkig. I did not know that. I thought I had to go to Himalayas. <laughs> ze dacht dat ze van de Himalaya af moest kijken, maar er zijn andere manieren en andere plekken waar je ook gelukkig kunt zijn. But that was my destiny. Yeah. Was voorbestemming was het. I had to go there in order to come back and tell you that you don't have to go there. <laughs> Ze moest er opgroeien om te beseffen dat je daar niet hoeft op te groeien om uh, naar naartoe te gaan. So it, it wasn't a waste of time. It was the way of the working of God. <laughs> het, is, het was absoluut geen verspilling, maar de, de, zeg maar het werk van God. But it's not the Himalayas that make us enlightened. It is a spiritual power that is transmitted to us through through a living chosen station a living chosen kind of a, like spiritual pole for yes if god has chosen you as an electric pole has will has <laughs> will transmit the power through you and then to another person that's very simple <laughs> 